So this is the Microsoft Surface RT. This thing is actually a lot more cool than all the reviews that I've ever seen make it out to be. This video is specifically why I love the Surface. These are all the features that really wowed me. So hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy uh, what I'm about to show you. So one of the main complaints that I heard about the, the Surface RT is that there's just the app store is a ghost town and there's not a lot of apps and there's actually a lot of apps for this. Almost everything that I typically use on a daily basis there's an app for and it's not a bad app it's actually a pretty decent app but the killer thing about the Surface is that having all those apps is actually a non-issue because the web browser can pretty much do everything so before with the iPad or with my Android devices the, the issue was oh you know you can't really access that video that's in flash online or you can't see certain things on certain web pages because it's just not compatible but with the surface it is so you know for example you know if I uh, open up Internet Explorer here is Spotify now I'm not even a, a Spotify premium subscriber I cannot listen to Spotify on my iPad or my Android device but I can on my Surface. It is so cool. So, you know, click. there you go. You know, so it is awesome. What else? I mean, here's the iCloud website. It's all here. I can access my iCloud notes and my calendars. It's really cool. Facebook. You know, this is not a Facebook app. This is just their, their web page. Personally, I actually prefer the full-blown websites. Typically, the full-blown websites are much more powerful anyway. Now, back to Spotify. So some of the issues you know, that you know people complain about with tablets in general is, oh, as soon as you go out of the app, then uh, you can't really multitask, you know, because it, it kind of goes in the background. Sure, as soon as you open up Explorer again, the music starts up. Well, on the Surface, there's actually a trick that I discovered that you can actually run apps or, or websites in the background if you have them on the de the desktop version so this is the the desktop here is Spotify alright you hear the music going okay so this is running if I go back I can open up any app now and my music is playing in the background because whatever website I have on the desktop browser is always running in the background that is epic. That is really, really epic. So let me go back to the desktop. And of course, there's always the keyboard that everyone loves. Snaps right in as expected. Got the whole kickstand thing going on and everything. I've got my little mouse here. I've got my little trackpad. I've got, I've got everything. Here's the browser. You know, it's, it's all just, it's all right there. Now, speaking of mouse and keyboard and desktop mode and all that, you know, now somebody might start to say, well, this is kind of this is more of like a laptop rather than a tablet and it's it's yeah it's both but I think the laptop part is not the bad part I think that's the cool part and I want to show you something really cool that I, I tried and I guess it's obvious to some people but to me it was really mind-blowing you can actually plug this thing in so let me plug in the, the HDMI okay and so I just actually plugged it into my computer. Whoa, look at that. Wow, that is epic. Okay, and not only that, but so I've got this little Logitech. So I've got a Logitech keyboard and mouse that, that I use with my regular computer. So I'm like, well, you know, what happens if I plug it into the USB port on my Surface RT? There, you can see the mouse. Okay, mouse here. So let me, so I'm controlling this all with my mouse right now. Split screen do you see that split screen and this this is not I was like oh maybe the resolution is no this is like full resolution super sharp this doesn't feel like some watered down operating system anymore I can open up a new browser window I can have multiple browser windows open at the same time you know this is that 
that's pretty epic. And of course there's SkyDrive and there's all all the folders, my computer, desktop, you know, whatever whatever you want to use. It's it's all there. And then of course there's there's Office, there's Word, PowerPoint, uh Excel, Outlook, you know, and and when you if you did attach it to a bigger screen, boom. It's pretty much the full version of Office. Really the only thing that I use probably regularly that Office RT doesn't have is the ability to do Visual Basic. But, you know, it's got it's got the full functionality of like I can do V lookups, I can do some ifs, you know, I can I can do all the the mumbo jumbo that I usually do in Excel and it's it's quick, you know, it's it's uh it's responsive, it's it's awesome, you know, it's just this is office on a full, you know, I mean you saw me typing it it responds to the keyboard and the mouse through that one little USB dongle that I put in. That's cool. You can also make it so that this is showing the modern whatever it's called now interface while this is fully functional. So you can actually technically you can have two different people, one person on here and one person on there. I mean, you wouldn't do it in real life, but for a device that everyone complains that is supposedly underpowered, this to me does not seem underpowered. I can have like five browsers open, two windows. I can be playing a video on here and doing something on here. And it's just like, wow, this little device, this tiny device it can do so much. Wow. Okay, so I've hooked up my Microsoft Surface RT uh, to the TV by HDMI. And so you can see I'm actually controlling it with the Xbox 360 controller. And this, this just brings it to life. This is like, this, is al this almost feels like you're actually playing on the Xbox itself as far as the fact that it's Halo, uh, the graphics is just beautiful, it's, it's HD resolution. You know, you can see a lot more detail uh, when blowing it up to the big screen. It, it does not look blurry at all. Everything is sharp. Hooking it up to the TV in combination with um, playing with the Xbox 360 controller is, is just an epic combination. It just brings this game to life. So there you have it. That's, that's my take on my Surface RT. I absolutely love it. Far exceeded my expectation. Obviously the body build is, is beautiful, I love this little keyboard, I love the stand, I love the battery life. I was uh, definitely pleasantly surprised and uh, just wanted to share my excitement. Uh, thanks for watching.